Now, the socio-economic future of South Africa, SEPSA, convened a summit this weekend to address critical issues facing South Africa. It was convened by Archbishop Mahoba of the Anglican Church and included other prominent leaders among them religious communities, civil society, as well as business. It's the first step in a series of nationwide consultations and events to address the social, cultural and economic crises facing the country today. Well, Dr. Nick Benedell is the founding director of the Gordon Institute of Business Science. He joins me now. Nick, thanks indeed for coming in. It's a pleasure. Good to be with you. All right, so let's start with the finance minister. He was at the summit this weekend, and all eyes are on him this afternoon as he addresses the media on his Investor Roadshow. Uh, he says it will take more than presentation plans to get those investors to put money in the country. What do you make of that? Well, he was indicating in some feedback to the delegates that came to the session yep. uh, the criticality of not about plans, but about us showing them the milestones about where we are and what we practically can show investors as to how we're dealing with issues we face. Yeah, and, and therein lies a bit of a challenge because they want to see more than that. They want to see the implementation of those right. plans. Right, exactly. And so that's the challenge that we face as we look at the, uh, the credit downgrade, but we also look at the longer term to say, in, given the, where the economy is, it's mm. time for action now, and the state needs to take certain action. Business and government are working together now in a way they haven't for a long time. And so they're looking to see, okay, so that's the talk, but uh, where's the walk? What are you actually going to do? And I think that's the testing point. And, and part of that action is, uh, you know, an economy that's inclusive. But it's that inclusivity uh, and the road to that inclusivity that is always the challenge for us, isn't it? Right. And there's a long-term structural problem for South Africa. We've made a great deal of progress over 20 years. Yep. South Africa is a far more inclusive economy. But the stubborn difficulties of poverty, unemployment and inequality are the fundamentals. And we've got to get business and government to work together to make sure we have policies that attract investment, both domestic and international, but also then start making sure we have the kind of employment we need to have the kind of tax base we need to fund further transformation. It's a very circular flow. It's very common in countries that, that have come from a history like ours. There are others, of course. And this is a long-term business, but we need confidence in the short term. Yeah. And that's what he's trying to put forward. Uh, the, the chaotic events, let's put it that way, of recent months uh, with the Treasury and the economy, the economy as a whole, what type of knee-jerk stimulus do you think that had on the minds of all the role players here uh, at, at the summit this weekend? Well, I think, you know, f firstly, we've gone through some years now of lower and lower growth where we finally reached the point where there's at less than 1%. Yep. That is a major challenge for South Africa. In fact, the economy is growing lower than the population growth rate. It means we're going backwards, in fact. I think the events in December uh, were a shock to the system on the stock markets, the banks, and so on. And then in January and February, as that realisation developed, uh, business and government started getting together. And I think it's been a very constructive and new level of energy between them to say, how do we deal with some specific issues, mm -hmm. including how do we get more investment? How do we deal with state-owned enterprises? And can we have a new initiative about smaller companies and getting startups going? Because that's where growth in an economy comes from. Around the world now, it's smaller, innovative businesses where the jobs come from. Is big business doing enough? I mean, there's always this complaint about business waiting to see change before they take the capital that they're holding and shove it back into the economy. When is the right time? Well, it, it's always a bit of a, a push and a pull effect, right? So I was just listening to, to your guest on water. Business has been very generous about supporting this as a non-state actor. South African bus business makes significant contributions in many areas, in social, in social welfare, social initiatives, corporate responsibility. I think the broader question you're asking is about the relationship between government and business, yeah. that we see each other openly with, uh, with, a, with an open agenda to talk about the kind of policies that are going to bring investment that gives business confidence to invest. 2016, just given the events that we've had over the past few months, what type of structural change do you think is being pushed for for this year and would we see something on our economy? Well, we'll have to see as the next few months unfold. In the budget, the minister laid out certain expenditure priorities, uh, state cutting back on expenditure, trying to control that growth, mm. and urging business to, to look at the future and, and make investments where we can. Um, I, I think, hopefully, there'll be action on the state-owned enterprises yes. because we have to address this question. The state uh, plays a huge regulatory policy role, but it's also a big actor in the economy. And if the major state-owned enterprises aren't efficient and effective, that's a major burden on innovation, a major burden on growth. So we all hope that some 
effort will be placed there. The other key area is institutions. There are very critical state institutions that play a role in giving confidence and showing confidence. And SARS is one of them, and there are others. It's very important that investors who've had a long history of respecting these institutions, including the Treasury, yeah. uh, are seen. The Treasury in any government plays a very particular role. And here, the Treasury is under a bit of pressure at the moment. It's very important for investors to see that the Treasury is respected by South Africans and by the state. Nick, before I let you go, I see ANC veteran uh, Reverend Frank Chikana speaking quite unambiguously about corruption and how a corrupt minority control politicians, saying how it hurts the country. Is there a sense that there is this growing stand against corruption? And where do you think this is going, very briefly? Well, it's very hard to gauge how extensive that view and whether that view is supported generally. Yeah. But there are many people who feel that there are sufficient circumstantial evidences in a variety of situations that are becoming more and more obvious that need to be dealt with because that's where confidence comes from. Confidence in a country comes from are you dealing with the core issues? Are there visible signs of you dealing with them? Dr. Nick Benadiel, founding uh, member of Gibbs. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. It's a pleasure. Us. Thank you.